Um, yes, in our job segment, which is coming up in a matter of moments, uh, you're going to find out about ethical hacking, what it takes to be an ethical hacker, who is suited to be an ethical hacker. Jobs of the future. Exactly. You're watching Morning News on Global Montreal. Good morning. It is Thursday, October the 24th. I'm very happy to welcome Terry Cutler into our studio. He is a co-founder of Digital Locksmiths, uh, and you're here to talk about ethical hacking as a career. Right. What is a certified ethical hacker? So it's basically a professional that has the same training as the bad guys, except we get paid to, for, on the good, uh, we get paid to legally break into companies, find all the holes before the bad guys do. Okay. Then report back to them. How do you become a certified ethical hacker. How did you become a... So, so I started back in 2003. I got inspired by watching shows like CSI and 24. I'm like, how does Chloe O'Brien break in all these systems so fast? Did some research and there was actually a course called The Certified Ethical Hacker, where again, they teach you the same techniques the bad guys do, except we use these skills for good. And uh, convinced my boss and I flew to Washington, where I got a chance to train with the FBI, CIA, because they're all in the same class. Um, so back then, we only select, course, only select uh, companies were, was offering this. And now, today, you can get this online uh, through DVD or, or... The course? Or the course, yeah. You can get it online? Yeah, you can get it online. But now what's happening is, before you write the exam, you got to go through kind of a background check. You have to have an yeah. eligibility uh, form that you got to fill out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the course that you took, you said the FBI and CIA were in the same class. Correct, Who was yeah. giving the class? Uh, we had, a, we had a, an instructor that, that's been in the field for a long time. So he, uh, so he was very familiar with, with uh, these techniques, so he was able to, to teach us all of this. Yeah, but I mean, if you teach someone to become an ethical hacker, how do you know that they're actually ethical, that they've right. got integrity, and they're not going to use it for, you know, criminal, yeah. I, I get that question all the time. It's like, why would anybody want to teach anybody how to hack? Uh, it's kind of like the same thing of, why would you want to learn martial arts? Right? You want to learn, you want to learn defensive, technology, d defensive capabilities in case someone comes after you. Yeah. Right? So it's the same type of thing. Yeah. So... For someone who's sitting at home thinking, yeah, that, because is, is there a lot of demand, first of all? Maybe they're thinking, you know, I'd like to do this, and it seems to be a job of the future. It is. It is. It's, it's, very, it's really growing. Uh, it's a lot of the challenges that we're seeing right now, it's kind of like selling insurance, right? You tell these companies, you know, and here's the proof that you are vulnerable, and they just don't believe they're going to get hacked until it's too late. Mm -hmm. So for someone sitting at home thinking, I'd like to do this, where do they start? They go to high school, they go to Sejap, they go to university. What do you need to have to, 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 do this, to do this? Okay, most of the time they require that you have at least two to five years experience in the field already. So if you are fresh, uh, there's a couple things you could do. You can actually uh, begin with starter courses. One's called Security Plus. Mm -hmm. So at least it gives you like a real baseline to get started because the ethical hacking course is very intense, uh, 60 hours a week. And uh, then there's uh, like life, life hands-on exercises that you have to go through before they'll even consider you to pass. Mm -hmm. But do you need high school? Do you need SACEP? Do you need university? You don't have to have that. Uh, you know, I find that if you're passionate about the field, that's, that's already a good start. Uh, there's a lot of material, a lot of resources you can have in advance to help you prep for this type of, uh, this type of stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, the caution and the warning I give out is that don't think it's a 9 to 5 job because this thing can, takes continuous education. Mm -hmm. Because things change so fast in this yeah. world. And are you always on the road, or do you basically do most of your work from home? I actually do most of the stuff from home, yeah. or in the office, yeah. So what kind of person is best suited? Like if you were to stand a bunch of people in a, in a room and talk to them, in your mind, maybe you think, wow, this guy would be a great ethical hacker, or this woman would not be a good, you know, like is there, what, what personality traits make it? A lot of times we look for the folks that are, are, are curious and very eager to learn. So, uh, the, you know, the, the, the code name of, of the hacker used to be where you used to take things apart, learn how it works, then, re, then put it back together, uh, versus what's called the cracker, which is the guys who, the, the black hat, the bad guys who actually go in and hack companies and steal all their intellectual property. Mm -hmm. So what we look for is things like uh, uh, the, 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 the willingness to learn mm -hmm. and the ambition and, uh, uh, I mean... It's very hard to, to see. It's very, you, can't, you can't really pick someone out of the crowd like that. Mm -hmm. Is it rewarding? It is rewarding. Yeah. Uh, some, of the, I mean, some of the guys that we bring in uh, can range from you know, 40000 a year to $100,000 a year. Uh, but there's also some specialized consultants that we pay up to $3,000 a day. Oh, yeah? So that's like really high-end specialized. So more skill. specialized than even oh, you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. what do they do to become more specialized than you? More a courses? Time, more? A lot of times they're developers already. So they've gone through programming courses. That's all they've been doing all their life. 
and they that, so whenever we need an expertise we usually come to one of these guys and say we need you to fix this specific component for me mm -hmm. and bring them in wow if you're thinking about doing uh, ethical uh, hacking, there is a lot of demand for it. It is a job of the future. Uh, Terry Cutler is co-founder of Digital Locksmiths. And can people contact Digital Locksmiths to find out about how to do this? Sure, or? yeah. I mean, uh, the easiest number would be 888-HACK-514. That's the easiest. 514-888-HACK. How could you forget that? Terry, thank you for speaking with us. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on.